All right, everybody, welcome back. This is episode nine, I believe, of the Road to Top series. I am Stay Toasty, and just another day, another day of Football Manager, another tough day that I'm going to go show you guys right now. Uh, let's look at, first let's look at the league table. This is where we're at right now. Uh, we had seven points at the last, at the end of the last episode, so you, you can see we ended up with four points. Let's look at the schedule here now. And I said at the last, end of the last episode, I wanted to get five points. I thought we could get five points. I thought that would be, um... You know, a good series of results. And we got four points. And that's frustrating. Because we could have really gotten nine points, really. Uh, let's look at this first game against top of the table, St. Trent's. Uh, we're not top of the table now, but they were at the time of this game. Uh, let's look. We took the lead in the 42nd minute. Through Andres Vidu, assisted by Jorginho. They came back in the 55th minute with Vitor Sanchez. Uh, it's It was a close game. Uh, they they kind of controlled a little bit more, but just the fact that we, we were able to play with them, I think was good. Pebble didn't have a good game. So, considering everything, I thought we played pretty good. So let's look at the goals here. First by Andres Vidu. Alright. Emerson here on this left-hand side. Up to Jorginho. Jorginho gets past his man. Uh, puts the ball into Azevedo. And right, I was like, wow, we're, we're winning this game. And as you can see, they had like 15 long shots. So uh, if, if this was a first division game, then I would say, oh, they're getting long shots. But they're not. I don't think they're capable of that, so I'm not really worried about it. I mean, for me, oh, and this this goal was just, just a load, just a huge load of BS. It's to to, to give up that they're the top of the table team, and to give up that kind of goal and winning, it's just ridiculous. Uh, and then we came back second game who were against. Um, yeah, Monkey Sea Lance, and they were near the top of the table. I think they were second or third. So, and to, we won. We won handily. We really controlled this game from start to end. Let's look at the goals now. First by Andres Vidu, scoring two of his games in a row, which is which is nice to see that our uh, our attacking players are are getting the goals. So here we got a. We got a throw in by Kaká, back to Cheshire, back to Kaká, Amos in, and then a tackle falls right to Azevedo and he slots it away. So that was goal number one. Let's go with a goal number two by Jorginho. I don't know why that happened. Uh, let's try that again. Okay. Azevedo picks it up on this, on this right hand side, takes a man on, passes him, gets up the wing. Puts one of his amazing crosses in, and Georgina gets down to the end of it. Slots it away. Really well done. Uh, as if it was assist, will be played replay. We will be replayed again and again. Uh, well deserved. And then, why did that happen again? And then we had Indu getting on to the score sheet for the first time in his Union Ladia career. Uh, we had there was a foul on this uh, on this right hand side. Ball played in, headed it back to Indio, and Indio just hits it as hard as he can towards goal, and he scores. And that's all we really need. So that was, that was, I was happy with that game. And then this was after this, this BS of this game to come at these. They were bottom of the table, I think, uh, Mafra, and we just didn't show up. Just like earlier in the season, we we went to we played uh, Befica Stolbranco in the first phase. We were top of the table, or we were coming up the table, and we just came in here, and we um, crapped the bed. We just didn't, we didn't do it. None of our, Jorginho didn't play well, Papa didn't play well, Andres Vida didn't play well. 
the guys that I was expecting pick good performances, the guys that uh, I, I'm counting on, uh, this team's counting on to really do well. Defense was fine, but our attacking players um, didn't show up, and that's unfortunate because uh, they deserve. Let's look at the at their goal here. Kakara Aguilar to Almeida here on this right hand side, and it's just. I mean, it's 10 long shots. I mean, it's just we we just didn't we just didn't do enough as a team, and that's unfortunate. So, but we have a game to, uh, uh, today against Fatima, the fourth time we've played this season. We haven't beat them yet. We've tied twice uh, and lost once. So. I think we need this game. We need this game. We want this game. We're ahead of them on the table. Uh, if we don't win today, I could see Angrens and Sintrens pulling away, and I just don't want that. Uh, it'd be really unfortunate. So, uh, I, we're going. We're going for this win today. Um, you know, just because we, we need to be fat. We played them four times this year, and uh, this is our fourth time playing them, and. We can't. We just can't beat them. So we need this for to boost morale and to boost after that that game we played last last game because that was we're better than that and um, we need to show it. So uh, I'll come back when it's time uh, when we have the lineup set for the game. All right, guys. So this is the lineup we're going with today. Typical lineup for us. Back line uh, is only has one change, and that's Anilton Jr., who is coming in for Benny, who has picked up a suspension through, I think, just yellow card accumulation. Everything else, I mean, these guys disappointed me that last game, but I, I don't see them having two bad games in a row. So I'm trusting them to come into this game and perform. So... Let's get into it. Try to motivate motivate them before the game. I think looked at the uh, games our our teams above us are having uh, in the league this week, and I think Angrens plays Almanzalens and Sintrens plays Mineiro, or vice versa. But uh, yeah, they're uh, I think. Whoever's playing Almanzalens hopefully is going to struggle slightly. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, let's see if we can confirm that. Uh, Angrens is playing Almanzalens and Sport Nuo Sintrens is playing. Uh, and there goes Sintrens scoring two goals in the first three minutes. Well, I think we know now who the, better, who the best team in this division is. Uh, let's see how the Mineiro game is going. It's 0-0. Let's look at our game now. We need to maybe we should start focusing on our game and start focusing on other results. Uh, we're it's pretty even so far. We're not playing possession really well right now. Uh, they're pretty much dominating that. Although the passes are similar, I think possession's coming back, uh, coming back to 50-50. So we're getting more of the shots now, and we're coming up to half time. And no highlights so far. Uh, nothing. So, let's see if we can motivate these guys. Keep your heads up, come on. Uh, just motivate them. We gotta get, want to get this win. Should get this win. They get the ball to start off the second half. Out to Caleb. And there it goes. It's kind of going to suck if we uh, <laughs> if this game is just straight through with uh, with no highlights. It's going to be uh, it's going to be unfortunate. Amosin and Georgine were not doing anything. Might bring on another striker. Georgine was just not doing anything at this point. 
let's do that. I'm bringing Santiago Lopez, who still has not scored for us. But actually, let's cat. Let's take that's kind of that. That's not. Let's not put him in. Let's uh, let's let's put Kevin in. Kevin. Oh, let's delete. Never mind. Wanted to bring Kevin in, but uh, if Pepo doesn't do anything, I might go to two strikers. If Pepo doesn't do anything anytime soon, yeah, this is God. This is boring. nothing happening. Absolutely nothing. And shots are being put up, but now here we. Oh, we have a highlight, ladies and gentlemen. We have this is not this is not a drill. This is not a drill. Up. Oh. Matus gets the ball, and he's going to take a shot, and that's going to be it. Well, it was a highlight, but um, not the greatest of highlights. Okay, another highlight here. Oh, two highlights? That close together? I don't know if we deserve that. Amos in with the ball. Puts it to Pepo. Pepo, should... He should do better. He should do better. Just hat right there by himself. Just I kicked right to him, it seems. Uh... Let's, all right, let's bring on, let's change up this tactic here. Let's bring on Kevin, and for Pepo, put him up top there. Uh, let's make him the target man on support. And uh, Santiago Lopez, uh, yes, let's, let's see if I'm on as a, as a advanced forward. Hopefully we can see some fireworks here at the end. Hopefully get some, uh, get a goal. Which would be absolutely lovely. Probably bring on. Let's bring on Indu, who got the goal. Let's see if we can, we can reproduce that here. There's nothing happening. Let's um. Let's look up some stuff. Let's see, uh, uh, average positions, uh, that's not what I want. I want a heat map. Where's a heat map? Let's look at crosses, um, completed by them. One cross. One cross. Uh, looks like as a video. The Shada, this is Rui Silva. They've given them one of those guys on the crosses. Um, yeah, let's, look up. let's look up where we're doing. A, yeah, we're not. I mean, this right hand side is getting something, but no scoring chance, I don't think. One clear cut chance, and that was right there in the middle. And that was Pepo's, but. I guess maybe we can go exploit the right flank. Look for overlap, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's see if something can happen in these last ten minutes, which I don't. I just don't see happening. up here on the end still no highlights <laughs> nothing to speak of and that's the game well for the team I thought was our rival um, nothing happened they nothing absolutely nothing happened we stay in third looks like Sintrens tied their game, but Angrens won theirs. They're really uh, stepping on the throat of the rest of this division right now. The rest of this group showing their dominance. So uh, it's definitely going to come down to the results coming up. Let's look at the schedule and see what's coming up in the near future and uh, what it looks like for next episode. Alright everybody, this is this upcoming schedule.
we have only six games more, six games left in uh, in the season. So I think we're gonna play six more games. So we're gonna probably do two episodes. These two here come back versus uh, Sakavarents. Uh, play these two and come back against Mafra. I hope we get some revenge and hopefully that'll mean. We're uh, either top or in second, because I really want to get promoted. I think if we don't get promoted, it's a real real crime. Um, uh, but yeah, we have six games left. Uh, 18 points. Uh, a possible 18 points. So we're going to need every single one of them if we want to uh, get up there. So... Uh, thanks guys for watching. This is probably going to be a short episode. Um, but that's just the nature of that Fatima game. That Fatima game was nothing. So hopefully uh, the next game will be uh, more exciting. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And stay tuned, my friends.